uh, your club making operation. Now, Harico does sell a template that will allow you to cut in half inch and quarter inch increments and fit uh, the 14 inch chop saw. And if you're interested, uh, the code is SBCFS. And lastly, I want to go over some tips and techniques. Now, cutting shafts perfectly straight is not necessary, but you want to cut them relatively straight. Um, manually cutting graphite with a hacksaw or even an abrasive cutoff wheel with no guides can be a little tricky at first. Now, you could square off the shaft with a belt sander against the platen, that little metal bar behind the belt. Uh, but I don't want, or, or I don't encourage you to try to square it off with the side of an abrasive wheel or even the grinding stone. One, it'll um, uh, wear your wheel off uh, more quickly than it needs to be, and secondly, you might grind too much material off. Now you can always remove the burrs on steel shafts with a number of items. One of which is the retractable reamer on your tubing cutter that I've talked about before. But a file, whether it's flat, round, or even triangular, will work as well. And by leaving off any sharp edges, it's going to be easier or safer to handle the, uh, the shafts as you proceed through each step in the assembly process, from installing ferrules to putting on the grips. And steel shafts might be a little sharper than you think, so be prepared. Now on a final note, you want to obey all safety rules and don't get in a hurry. Take your time. Oftentimes, veteran club makers get lax in their ways and don't always wear the right safety gear. All it takes is one time to lose an eye or a finger or burn yourself. After all, we'd like to see you uh, stay in one piece and remain a customer for a long time to come. Speaking of time, this wraps up our webinar on how to properly cut shafts. So let me throw this back over to Rob and we can answer your questions. All right, great job, Jeff. Just a reminder, Jeff's written an excellent book on club making if uh, folks want to get dive more deep into some of these subjects, and it's The Modern Guide to Club Making, $22 on our site, and the code's MCB, isn't it, Jeff? Uh, correct. It's MCB, and uh, $22 on HarikoGolf.com. And if you were unable to uh, uh, catch some of this webinar, or maybe you came late, it is on YouTube at YouTube dot com slash Harico Golf and also on our blog at blog dot Golf dot com. Okay, so folks can start typing their questions. We have the first one from John. Titanium tip weights. What is your recommendation on how to cut the tip in order to use them? Hmm, I didn't even think titanium tip weights ex existed anymore because of the because uh, titanium is very, very light. Or, or, um, John, is, are you sure that they're titanium? I'll give you a minute to type back if you can. Were those ever more common in the past, Jeff, or you've rarely seen them, period? Well, usually titanium is, is a, a light density material, whereas like um, um, lead or um, tungsten or brass are used because they're uh, heavier density. Now to cut some of those, like lead, you can cut those very easily with a, a knife or you get the appropriate weight. But if it's uh, tungsten, that stuff is hard to, hard to cut, so usually you're going to have to buy um, you know, if you need two grams, you buy the two gram weight. Yeah, and he wrote back saying he meant tungsten, just like what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I, w I don't, don't even know how you would cut them. Um, I, I, I would seek out to see if you can buy them in uh, individual weights. All right. Keep typing your questions in, folks. We'll wait a couple moments here. And uh, as our buddy Gary mentions, measure twice, cut once, which is always good advice. Still waiting. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lag, guys, for uh, the time that you type to the time it comes through our servers. And uh, 
Jeff and I received the message, so just bear with us. Wait a couple more moments here, Jeff. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe, oh, here we go. Paul writes, hi, guys. Just found Harico Golf, new to club making. This is the first webinar. Question is, which shaft would work well with the XK Pro Iron Senior Flex without breaking the bank? Kind of an unrelated question, but sure. Um, which shaft? Go ahead. Um, well, I guess it depends on if you're looking for steel or graphite or if you're looking to hit the ball high, low, you know, if you have a tendency to push. Um, so I'd probably need to know that information. Paul said steel. Okay. And as far as height and so forth, all steel shafts are relatively inexpensive. I don't even think there's any expensive um, Bayflex shafts. I'm not sure if he's going to reply to that question, Jeff. If, if not, he can always call me on the tech line, which is 800-942-5872. Uh, Great. All right, so Chris is asking, thanks for the tip on the cutting wheel and the bench grinder. How important is it to keep things perpendicular? And it, it, if, if you can, that's why the chop saws are nice, because they usually give a nice square cut. It, on the, the bench grinder, if you don't, or even like uh, um, the, the hand operations with the, uh, the composite shafts, it just requires extra work uh, to, to make them square. That way the shaft seats in the, the hosel correctly. Great. If there's no more questions, we'll wrap this up. Again, it'll be on, uh, this webinar will be on YouTube and on our blog. Another great webinar, Jeff, and thanks again, and we'll see everybody uh, next month. Thanks again, Jeff. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.